What's up guys, welcome to your 74th Android tutorial for the Young Buck, also known as the New Boston, or Bucky. Um, what we're going to do now is I decided to do a few more graphics ones just because on my channel a lot of people have been wanting to do game anime, or game stuff and graphics and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is basically, nothing too new, but we're going to kind of review and this is what uh, our application is finished product is going to do is basically when you click it starts and it, it creates a bitmap right at our starting point and as we hold down our mouse we let go and it also uh, does another plus right at our end point um, so that can be kind of useful to see how like you know if you're launching this ball we can get those two points and use the velocity to you know launch the ball a certain speed over time so that's a, that's essentially what we're gonna get to um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the end result before we actually get into it. So uh, so you guys can, can kind of follow along. along. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some more floats, float, float variable um, variables, SX for a starting X point, SY for a starting Y point, and then FX for a finishing X point, and FY for our finishing Y point. And again, all we're going to do is just kind of uh, set those all equal to be zero right at the beginning because we're going to kind of use the same layout here. So let's do that real quick. Thought that'd be a shortcut, but it really wasn't that much of a shortcut there. So, um, so nothing new yet, nothing new yet, but basically I want to show you guys what we can do with the motion event um, because we did kind of use it, but we didn't really get into too much. So what we're actually going to do now is set up our bitmap first. So let's scroll down to where we set up our, um, our first bitmap called test. Let's actually cut that test out of our, for, or out of our if loop right here and define it within our onCreate method. So I'm just going to paste that up here hit control V and uh, you know we define this bitmap we're also going to want that bitmap to be accessible to both classes that we have set up so we're going to set up a bitmap variable called test and then we're also going to call one plus that's going to be the plus symbol that we're going to use and then we just need to delete again this bitmap here now I'm just going to again copy this line of code I know I'm kind of going all over the place but hopefully we aren't doing anything new yet for the most part and set up our plus bitmap all we have to do now is change the resource here to our plus image that we have in our drawable folder. So there we go. We have all our bitmaps and all of our initial points set up. Now let's go back into our onTouch method. Um, and this is where we're going to kind of define, you know, our x and our starting x and our starting y. But first what we're going to do is we're going to use a switching case, which again we're familiar with. We're going to get kind of the information from the, what type of motion event it is. So we're going to say switch, and then we're going to say event, because again, that's the motion event that's, that's being passed in. We're going to hit dot get action, and that's going to tell us what kind of action is happening at the current moment because we have this as true, so it's going to keep looping through um, for pretty much every moment. And then we just need to do a bracket as well and set up our cases. So we're going to say case, and then we're going to refer to the motion event class. And then we can hit dot, and we have the events that can happen. So down is right when we first click. So what we're going to do within this case, we're going to set up our starting x, our start x, and then it's just going to be, again, equal to event dot get x. Again, kind of review here. And then also our starting y, and that's going to be event uh, dot get y and uh, there we go and then all we have to do is say break here and then we're going to set up our other case which is going to be the release so we're going to say motion event dot uh, you know action re action up so uh, type that out and that's when we're going to let our finger off of the screen and then we're going to set up our final x and this is going to be again event dot get x and um, F Y our final Y is going to again be event dot get Y. So there we go. We're going to kind of have these different X and Y values. 
This one's going to be consistently updating. This one's going to be right when we press down, and this one's going to be right when we press up. So let's just put a break there as well. Now that we have everything set up, we're going to go back within our canvas, and we're going to kind of set up some more of these if statements that we did previously. So I'm going to copy three of those because, again, we're going to say one is for our starting x if it's not equal to 0 and our starting y is not equal to 0. And then we're also going to do our starting, our final y and our final x here. Hopefully this tutorial is not too long, but I mean it's pretty simple. And this, these, this, uh, speaking too fast here. Um, instead of our test, we're going to do our plus bitmap that we set up at the beginning of the tutorial for both of these. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to get the bit, the you know, we can still use this kind of equation where we take half of the width and subtract that from our final x. So it's kind of placed right in the center as well. And this will be our starting x for this one. And again, our plus bitmap, we're going to get half of, half of the width, even though both of our plus and our, you know, our test are both 75 pixels by 75 pixels. But, uh, you know, that's besides the point. Um, and then again, we say starting x and starting y. So we're going to say starting y minus uh, plus I mean half the height as well and then we're going to do our final y and uh, again minus half of the the plus height there we go I mean we're done uh, basically this tutorial mainly just went over the different types of motion actions that we can get um, again we use the switch case to get the action of what type of event it is we set up the cases to be either down or up and then when we save it and hopefully run it, we won't get any errors. It's a pretty quick tutorial, um, but hopefully you guys are starting to understand the graphics and understand just Java in general if you guys are new to that as well. Um, I mean, this probably isn't the prettiest way to code, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to work for us, so that's fine. And then the next tutorial will actually use those points to kind of animate something. Uh, maybe I don't know, but see, we get our starting point when we first click. We're still pressed down on the screen, and then when we release up, there's our other plus, which is also right in the center. So hopefully you guys like that tutorial. It's pretty simple, pretty quick, and you guys learn about motion events. I gotta go, peace.